Hi, this is Annie, the coordinator of the Office of International Affairs of Shijian University, Taiwan. Due to the outbreak of coronavirus, unfortunately, most of the education fair has been cancelled. Although we can't hold the info session and meet you in person, I'm happy to meet you virtually and would like to take this opportunity to introduce our university to you. To begin with, let me share some advantage of studying in Taiwan. Living issue has always been taken into consideration when students go studying abroad. Taiwan has been ranked as top 14 safest countries in the world by Forbes magazine in 2018. It is safe to go out to get some late night snacks and have some activities. The transportation system here in Taiwan is extremely convenient. You can get anywhere you want to go by a metro, bus, or high-speed railway. Most people here speak Mandarin Chinese, but everyone will try to help foreigners with a bit of English and body language. Taiwan is also a very diverse country in Asia. You can have many opportunities to explore different cultures here. Despite the living issue, Taiwan has a very high quality of higher education. All universities in Taiwan have great support from the Ministry of Education. So that's why the tuition fee is affordable for everyone. Chinese and English are the two major languages to be used during the class. Students are encouraged to take the second language before they graduate. Now, you know the advantage of studying in Taiwan. Let me move on and share Shijian University with you. Shijian University was founded in 1958 by the first Vice President of Taiwan. We have two campuses, one is in Taipei, the capital city, and the other one is in Kaohsiung, the second biggest city in the south. Two campuses are composed of five colleges. Today, I will focus only focus on Taipei campus, which offers two English taught programs. Taipei campus located in the city center, with five minutes walking distance from metro station, one station away to Taipei Songshan International Airport. There are several touristic spots nearby, such as Taipei Shiling Night Market, National Palace Museum, Ximanding, and Miramar Mall. Das Beste an der Sijian University ist definitiv die schöne Campusumgebung.
家，用完的家，不能。この辺りはとても便利なエリアです。Ada banyak sekali makanan lokal yang terletak di sekitar kampus. Az órákon kívül rengeteg eseményen is részt vehetünk. For me, the best thing about Shitian is meeting new people to practice my Chinese with. but you can also call me Alice. I'm going to take the next two minutes of your life to talk about my experience here studying in Taiwan and how I faced some difficulties while I've been here as a non-native speaker for Chinese and how the Suqian language courses were able to help me overcome that and actually learn a lot more Chinese than I thought I would. So I'll tell you a little bit about myself first. My name is Alex, I'm 21 years old, I'm Canadian. I've been born and raised in Canada I actually never lived outside of Canada before my whole life. So coming to a different country, I really wanted to choose somewhere that I fit in well, that I'd be able to learn a lot. Uh, I was really eager to learn Chinese. And out of all the schools I was offered, Sichuan offered the best Chinese language program for me. That's why I chose to go here. I think it can be very hard to be a foreigner in any country, uh, especially if you don't understand the language or you don't speak or read it. I think that can be a big challenge. Um, when I first came here, I would have difficulties doing the simplest tasks, you know, even ordering food, going to a restaurant. I'd have no idea what to say. I'd use a little bit of Chinese if I knew and say, Bo Han Fan. I'd just stare at the store owner, expecting him to get me what I wanted. And a lot of the time, they would just give me a small bowl of rice, a little bit of meat on it. Wasn't really going to fill me up. I expected to get, you know, like a nice meal. And after I went to one restaurant, I go to the next, try the same thing, because I didn't know the language at all. 
After studying for a little bit, I can now go into a restaurant, say, uh, Lao Ba Ni Hao, Wo Yao Yi Wan Shan Yi Yu Mian. And I get a nice dish of eel with noodles. That would be really good. I think that one part I was really surprised about the language exchange here, a pleasant surprise, was the fact that they actually taught me how to read and write really well. And so I wasn't expecting to learn that because the English keyboard was very, very different from the Chinese keyboard. And so there's not really any comparison between it. I wasn't expecting to learn it. Uh, fortunately, our teacher actually had lots of games and activities that helped us put the knowledge together and have a better understanding of how to read Chinese. Also, the teaching style of the people was pretty impressive. Rather than having us just stare at two books and try to remember the English and Chinese words, the teacher would use stories and he would help us conceptualize the words in a sense. So he would help us understand them ourselves rather than just telling us in English what the Chinese word meant. We just figured it out for ourselves. Uh, hopefully this video has been good for you and you've learned some about the Suchi and Chinese program. I'd highly recommend coming here. It's pretty awesome. Uh, thank you for your time.